What's up guys, JMC Fishing. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing today. This is gonna be a unboxing for the Mega Bass Battalion Swim Bait. Uh, these are fairly new. Um, I haven't seen them out in the market. And I don't see them in the USA. None of my tackle shops have them. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods that's around me doesn't have them. Uh, I don't think Bass Pro Shops carry them. Um, so I had to order these. These came from Japan. So uh, I ordered four of them, and I also order an ice slide. And the ice slides have been around. The ice slide that I got is the 5.3 inch ice slide. Um, it's a cool looking bait, man. Th these all five of these baits are really cool looking. So I wanted to give you an unboxing for you to see exactly uh, the detailed colors on them, um, and to show you what they are and how they, you know, and how they look. So um, there's a video on here, um, not on here. There's going to be a, there's a video on YouTube that shows you how um, how they swim. So we'll go along as we go along. We'll, I'll, I'll tell you more about that. Okay, let's start unboxing here. All right, so. Good packaging. Um, the place I got it, I guess they must have gave me like a little um, license holder, which is pretty cool. All right, so here we go. First one is the slow floating version. This is going to be the see-through charchu skill. All right, and this is what it looks like for now. I just want to show you the first view of them each this is the floating version and this one's the Edo another slow floating this one's called the GLX Hachiro Gill Another floating, and this is the GG Wild Gill. It's kind of like a bluegill pattern with some chartreuse on there. And this is the ice slide, the 5.3 inch ice slide. Um, it's an awesome looking bait. I actually, uh, this is this. I actually purchased this in Era. Um, I thought this was going to be a bigger, the seven inch version. It ended up being the 5.3 inch but you know it is what it is i'm going to keep it because i'm sure um, the confidence is skyrocketing right now with the way this thing looks it's really bright and it looks like a like a perch and i they they love perch so i really think this is going to work all right let's put this aside so now let's do let's open them up and see what they really look like here for you guys all right so this one here is the GOX Hichiro Gill. There you go. Really flashy. Um, I mean, it, it, the detail is awesome. And the hooks are really sticky. <laughs> good hooks. Really good hooks. I, I, People say to always change the hooks. You know what? I, I, I when you when you spend a lot of money on the on, on these baits, you know and some hooks do need to be changed. But Mega Bass is is a really good company. It's a really expensive company. So I'm assuming you're not spending a a, a lot of money and giving you know and and giving cheap hooks. You know so some sometimes I just you know take a sacrifice there. Let's see here. So I, oh man, this thing is really nice. All right, let's look another one. This is the floating here. All right, and this is the GG Wild Gill. I like the blue gill pattern here. All right. Really flashy. Really flashy. Alright, let's see, next one. This 
sorry. This is the Edo. I would say that last word, but I can't pronounce it, so. This is the floating version. It's got that nice man. This color, these colors are ridiculously nice. Talk about confidence builder. And this one, I actually think this one's gonna be my favorite. This has like a soft color. Uh, the reflection of it, it when it moves to the side. Because they swim kind of like side. If you swim fast, they'll swim side. It has like a, a, a pearl pinkish color. And then it gives you the other side, which is like a chartreuse. See that white? And it goes down to chartreuse. I mean, it, I, I really think this is going to kill the fish. It's got a little bit of an orange, you can tell there. It's got right under the belly. Looks like they gave it like an orange first. And then they coated it with a pearl white with a, uh, a transparent blue, purple. I mean, it's really f cool, man. All right. And then let's check out the ice slide. The ice slide. Let's see here. This is what the ice slide looked like here. And this one. This is the 135B GLX Sunshine Gill. Got a tournament coming up. This is exactly the swim bait I'm going to use right here all right so a little bit about that i know from these baits uh for what i could see there's not that much information you could read about um you you, you, you there's a place i forgot the name of the website i would give it to you i'm gonna try to give it to you later so i'll put it in, on a link or something to give you an idea of what it is but from what i know the slow floating there's the floating and the slow floating the slow floating slow floating is kind of, of a suspending bait. Uh, I don't know why they call it slow floating, but I mean, it. it you could see on, uh, there's another gentleman who made a YouTube video. He practically did it in a, uh, did the video in a pool, showed the action of these, and the slow floating bait, he advertises as slow floating, it actually stays on the water. Uh, it does go up slowly, but it actually, if when you're swimming it and he stops it, you can see that it kind of stays buoyant and it doesn't move much. Obviously, when it, 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 since it has a floating effect, it's going to go up, but it's going to stay as long as you move it. It'll get under and it'll stay in there for that few seconds you need for them to chop it up. And the floating, of course, is the floating. It's I'm assuming it's going to... You know, it's like a crankbait. It's just gonna float up. It's not gonna have, not gonna hold like the slow floating does. Um, you know, 100% sure based on what I saw that the slow floating will hold on the water. So I kind of want to say it's like a suspending bait, but because it goes up, they can't really say it's suspending. So um, that's a cool bait to have right there. Uh, swim bait that's like a suspending bait. I mean, it, it's it's great. Um, they're one and three eighths ounce uh so it's a pretty good weight to cast you'll probably get some distance out of it gotta get the right rod um so let's see here and that's it folks that's all the information i have uh, i really wanted to show you guys these uh, i did they, when i was looking for for these uh, looking at these i didn't see much information on it so i said what the hell let me try i was i had the opportunity to get these four so i jumped on it because i knew they were flying off the shelves and they are flying you can't find these these some of these colors you can't even find anymore so 
Um, I'm happy I, I was able to do that. Uh, I'm going to be doing more unboxings and I'm going to be doing more fishing uh, videos for you guys. Uh, so hopefully subscribe to me. This is my first video, so hit the like button there for me and I can give you some more, uh, some more uh, videos. Alright, thanks a lot.